my name's Matthew Herbert and uh, here recording some sounds for a project called Music for a Busy City for Manchester International Festival. A lot of my work is around sound uh, and stories around sound. There's a revolution that's happened in music which is we can now make music out of chocolate biscuits and murder. We don't need to use violins anymore. For the last 25 years I've been out recording, turning that into music. So one thing that I was really interested in, I've been reading a lot recently about the Industrial Revolution and just this huge migration of people from the countryside. One thing that's never really talked about is the sound of that. So if you worked and lived your whole life in the countryside and then you suddenly came to work in one of the factories or the mills or somewhere where there's the, these new machines, when they run them upstairs here, they're only allowed to run them for a few minutes before it causes hearing problems. Well, these were on 24 hours a day. So there's a lot of deafness in the area. So there's something about that sound has gone, you know, the architecture and shell of the buildings are still here often, or they've been repurposed. So the, the idea really was to take sounds that did exist and that were a really important part of Manchester's heritage, actually, its sort of sonic heritage, not just its visual heritage, and then try to bring it alive again. After we've taken these recordings and I've made something out of them, then we're going to be exhibiting them in the Great Northern Warehouse. It's a very old and important industrial building for Manchester. And so what I was particularly interested in was recording sounds that would have been heard in Manchester 100, 150 years ago, and then putting them back into the buildings that would have housed them originally. It's very hard to spend time with these machines and not start to hear it automatically as music. You know, I mean, one of the things that I have to be careful is not to manipulate it too much. We still, I think, the purpose of it is to try and hear it in its raw state, try and hear our history in a way. There's a kind of disposability to music now. That it's another reason it's great working with these machines. You know, some of these machines have worked 24 hours a day for 40, 50 years. It feels to me like a, it feels an important story to be told.